Facial sweating, uh, patients complaining of sweating in and around the face, the head, the scalp, the neck. You will occasionally bump into this and you know, one of the things that I would say is that you know, there, is, there is a specific subcategory of hyperhidrosis, craniofacial hyperhidrosis, and there is an approach, uh, a formalized approach to treat that where we inject toxin in the scalp, in the neck, uh, and, and areas where we wouldn't, we wouldn't typically do so. Uh, one of the things I would say, and uh, you know, uh, delegates occasionally ask is, you know, if I'm injecting where I normally inject, you know, three areas in the upper face, is that going to improve sweating? Yes, it is, because where the toxin is going, you're going to have an effect on apocrine sweat glands as well. So facial sweating generally um, is something in terms of using toxin, you've got to be careful with. So you've got to think about the underlying anatomy as well. So let's say, for example, in the mid cheek or the area around the, the, the arch of the zygoma, I mean, you're potentially running into uh, muscle anatomy there that you do not want to have an effect on with toxin. So just be mindful of that. Yes, it's possible, um, but just be careful about the underlying muscle anatomy and inadvertently having an effect that you didn't mean to.